So I'm sure you understand judgment now. That the judgment of God is not that we're going to sit on a throne and people will line up and be coming. The judgment of God has been prejudged and the judgment of God is within the choices we make. He that believeth not is judged already. He that believes is not condemned, is not judged because he believed. It's not going to be that we're going to queue up in heaven and they will play television. and every No, 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 no such thing. That is childhood fantasy. John 5, 22, pay attention. For the Father judges no man. Repeat. For the Father judges no man. Repeat. For the Father judges no man. Louder. For the Father judges no man. For the Father judges how many men? No man. Read on. But hath committed all judgment unto the Son. He hath committed how many judgment? Unto who? So he that believeth in the son is condemned. So believing in Jesus is judgment. Not believing in Jesus is judgment. So the judgment is not in the future. The judgment is now. He prejudges hath committed all judgment unto the son. So if a man will judge, he will only judge with his character. See that? If a man will judge, he will only judge with his character. For example, God's character for judgment will be life, light, love. If you reject his life, you take death. If you reject his light, you take darkness. If you reject his love, you take hatred or, de or, or destruction. Now, please listen carefully. It is still God's love to let you have your way. <laughs> it is still God's love. It is tyranny for God to say, no, no, no. You don't want me, but you must take me by force. That's tyranny and God is not a tyrant. He's a father. He's not going to stop you. He's going to let you have your way. That's why he gave you the wheel. He can't give you a wheel and override your wheel. No. Yes, that's why he gave you a wheel. Now, so love exposes hatred. The life of God exposes death. The light of God exposes darkness. 